from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, a cold night ahead, coldest of the fall season for sure. And if you're brave enough and want to give it a try, tonight is the peak of the Leonid meteor shower, but the shower is not for forecast to be that great. 10 to 15 meteors per hour. And around here, we usually see half of whatever's forecast. That means you might see one or two in an hour's time. You got to get adjusted, your eyes adjusted to the night sky. You got to stay warm and just look up. So let's get into it. We do have a freeze warning in effect for all of Acadiana. This is for the first freeze of the year or frost of the year. Again, no pipe issues with this one. So that is the good news. Fair skies across the region. I'll probably go out at around 1230 1 a.m. just to check to see if I can see a shooting star or not. If so, I'll go ahead and tweet about it and post it on Facebook as well. Meanwhile, farther to the north, it is legit winter as you get through the nation's midsection up through the northeast and the snow is beginning to pile up big time across portions of uh, the lee of the Great Lakes where the colder air goes over the lakes and check out some of these snowfall totals. Uh, you get up to Buffalo, New York. Let me go ahead and just query the latest model data and give you a point right here. About 50 inches of snow there and you go over to Watertown. We'll get right right about there. 77 inches. Is this crazy stuff or not? This is just through the next less than the next 72 hours and the National Weather Service in Buffalo, New York is forecasting much the same. So the model data very close to what uh, is actually being forecast across that part of the world. For us, we're not shoveling anything. Hopefully just sunshine for tomorrow. Temperatures though get down to the freezing mark and then as we head into Friday afternoon, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures get into the upper 50s. It's almost going to feel balmy out out there, but as we head into tomorrow night, clouds begin to move in, maybe a few sprinkles, mainly after midnight and then rain developing as we head toward uh, Saturday morning. Periods of light rain drizzle and there's going to be wind as well. It's just going to be a miserable day with temperatures holding in the 40s on Saturday. Those showers end Saturday evening and going into Sunday, we'll see a little bit more sunshine and after tonight, we're done with light freeze or frost. It looks like over the next 10 days. Rainfall totals latest graph model because of the time change we get the zero Z run in about a quarter inch or a little bit more down to the coast. Not much rain with this system. It's just going to be mainly a nuisance. So the big story temperatures tonight upper 20s northern parishes will favor lower 30s I 10 quarter and much the same down along the coast and then we'll see temperatures warming up into the upper 50s tomorrow. We'll go about 59 for a high and not as chilly tomorrow night with temperature with clouds coming in temperatures hold in the 40s and then they stay in the 40s and there's going to be a wind chill Saturday, probably upper 30s to lower 40s. So it's going to be a, just a raw day. So 33 is the number we'll go with right now for tonight with clear skies, just the plants and pets, no pipe issues with this one. Even where you're seeing temperatures are in the upper 20s, it's only going to go below freezing for an hour or two, most spots. 59 the high tomorrow should be a lovely day. Clouds though beginning to come in as we get into the latter part of the afternoon and into the evening hours. And then we go into tomorrow night the clouds will be thickening, thickening up. We might see a few sprinkles into the evening hours, but better rain chances will occur as we get closer toward daybreak Saturday morning when uh, you'll hear the pitter patter of rain as you get up early Saturday morning. Rain chances 80% Saturday, uh, but again, uh, not uh, soaking rains, just nuisance rains. And then going into next week, staying cool, unsettled, but eventually milder toward Thanksgiving with showers and maybe a few thunderstorms in around Wednesday, Thursday, and or Friday of next week. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.